Hi, my name is Vincent and today I want to take a look at how to find points of inflection. So we have find the intervals where f of x equals x times e to the negative 3x is concave up or down and find the points of inflection. So for this example here, we need to make use of the following theorems. And to get this started, we need to find the first and second derivative of f of x. So we start off with f of x equals x e to the negative 3x. And to find the first derivative, we're going to have to use product rule. So we have the derivative of x is 1 times e to the negative 3x plus x times the derivative of e to the negative 3x is e to the negative 3x times negative 3. We have to use chain rule when we take the derivative of this e to the negative 3x term. So we'll clean this up a bit. f prime of x equals, and we could factor out an e to the negative 3x, and we're left with 1 minus 3x. Notice here, if we factor out the e to the negative 3x, we're left with positive 1, and then we have negative 3 times x, which gives us negative 3x. So from this stage of the problem here, we need to find a second derivative. So we're going to use product rule again. Now for this part, we have the derivative of e to the negative 3x is e to the negative 3x times negative 3, and then we're multiplying by 1 minus 3x. So once again, we're just using product rule. So we took the derivative of e to the negative 3x times the second function plus e to the negative 3x times the derivative of 1 minus 3x is negative 3. Okay, so all we did from this line to the next was use product rule, and we had to be careful and make sure we use chain rule once again when we take the derivative of this e to the negative 3x term. So what we could do at this step here is factor out the e to the negative 3x times negative 3. But one thing we, we don't want to forget here is there's always that invisible times 1 at the end. So we want to make sure that we leave a 1 behind when we factor it out from the second part. So we have f double prime of x equals, and we could call this negative 3 e to the negative 3x times, and on the first term we're left with 1 minus 3x, and on the second term we're left with plus 1. So we could call this f double prime of x equals negative 3 e to the negative 3x times 2 minus 3x. So if we look for the zeros of the second derivative here, the first factor is not going to yield any zeros because e to the negative 3x can never equal 0. Okay, this e to the negative 3x term here is always positive, so it will never cross the x-axis, so it won't give us a root. So we, we're going to set the second factor equal to 0 and solve. We'll have 2 minus 3x equals 0, and if we add 3x to both sides and divide by 3, this tells us the 0 occurs at x equals 2 thirds. So for the next stage of this problem, we need to make a sign chart for the second derivative, and we're going to cut the number line at 2 thirds. So for this part of the problem here, what we need to do is check the two intervals to the left and right of 2 thirds. So the first interval takes place from negative infinity to 2 thirds. And we have this open interval here. Just know this stage of the problem can be done in your head with enough practice, but we'll write it out just to be formal here. And the second interval to check is from 2 thirds going to infinity. So the numbers that make the most sense to plug in here are 0 and 1. So if we plug in 0 for the first interval, we plug in 0 to our second derivative, and we're going to plug it into the factored form. It's always easier to plug it into the factored form here. So we plug in, we have negative 3 times e to the negative 3 times 0 will give us 1, and then we have times... 2 minus 3 times 0 is 2. 
So f double prime of zero is negative six. Now we don't care about the value of the second derivative when we're doing this part of the problem. All we care about is the sign. So this tells us in our first interval here that we could label it as negative. Okay, so what we have to do next is we're going to plug in a value from the second interval. And greater than two thirds, it makes a lot of sense to plug in one. The goal is to plug in the easiest number we could think of. But any number greater than two thirds will work. So if we plug in one, we plug this into the second derivative, we're gonna have negative three times e to the negative three times one, which is e to the negative third, times two minus three times one is negative one. And we have a negative times a negative is positive. So we have a positive three e to the negative three. The only thing that matters here, we do not care about the value of this expression. All we care about is that the sign here, that this is a positive value. So this allows us to label the, inter the interval from two thirds to infinity as positive. Now, when we're looking for or determining where a function is concave up or down and looking for points of inflection, this is the most important component that we find for this type of problem. So now that we have the sign chart for our second derivative, we're able to answer this question. So we want to determine where is the function concave up or down? Well, we could say that the function is concave up on the interval from two thirds to infinity because the second derivative has a positive sign here. The next thing we could say here is that the function is concave down on the interval from negative infinity to two thirds because the second derivative has a negative sign in this first interval here from negative infinity to two thirds. Okay, and the last thing that we want to say here is we want to find the point of inflection and notice that the function is going to have a point of inflection at x equals two thirds because the second derivative changes signs from negative to positive here. If the sign had changed from positive to negative, we could also call this a point of inflection but it's very important that we look for this change in sign in our sign chart of f double prime. Okay, well this is going to conclude this video on finding points of inflection. Thank you all for watching and I hope that this was helpful.